Uh, are we really going through here? Oh, this might be a bit tough for you, Rachan. Then again, it's pretty bad for me, too. <laughs> uh... ah! What the? What was that? No! It's okay. Something just fell from the ceiling. Oh, it's a spider. A spider? Don't worry, it's already gone away. Mm, what about you, Zen? Are you scared? I am not. Nothing scares me. Th that's so cool. Nothing scares me either. Ray-chan, nothing scares me either. Mm, I'm so scared. Totally ignored! I bet you're actually scared too, Ken. D don't poke fun at me. This is nothing. Okay, then our brave Sir Ken gets to lead the way. Yep, that's an order. What? That's not fair! Abuses of power like that shouldn't be allowed, right, Mitsuda senpai Senpai? Amada, you'll lead the way. Huh? When you walk single file, supposedly they attack the one in the center. You're thinking of snakes. Then I'll take point. Even Mitsuru-san can't handle it. This is a bit of a surprise. What an excellent inference from Naoto-san. Uh, it was obvious. I'm not scared at all, you know. Whoa, she's putting herself out there. So we'll put you on point and take our time behind you. Huh? Wait, I'm sorry! Do you hear that? There's someone else here? It's just a security guard. Um, of course not. We already know it's not a ghost. And besides, I'm not that afraid of... Ah! My cell phone? Why now? Oh, figures. It's spam. Sorry about that. It took me by surprise. Uh huh? It's not funny. Senpai. Don't. You don't have to say that. It's creepy. What? If Persona users from two years later don't know about the Dark Hour, could it mean we'll be victorious in our battle to eliminate it? Don't think too hard about it. If we stop being serious about this, it'll bite us in the ass. You're right. But I feel as if I've seen hope. A future as bright as they are. Yeah. Now then, let's go. Ah! Oops, she froze up. Iori, you take the lead. You're their senpai, no? What? Uh, this is tyranny! This is clearly getting closer. Huh? What are you, scared of a little lightning? Quiet, you! I'd be a goner if even one of those things hit me. Ah! <laughs> You're freaking out way too much. Come on, shouldn't weather like this help with your kung fu training? A bolt of lightning would hit and it'd give you the inspiration for a new move. There was a scene like that in your DVD, wasn't there? You jerk! You don't even care how I feel! If lightning has to strike someone, let it be this guy! <gasps> huh? Is this a blackout? That's what you get for saying that stuff, Chie. Looks like I better hurry up and head to work. Depending on how produce sells today, I might get a little bonus in my pay for the week. This weather may keep customers away. 
But I gotta do my best if I'm gonna save up for a motorcycle. It's from my manager. Hello? Uh, Yosuke Kun? Um, uh, some of the power in the store is out after that lightning strike. C could you come in early today? All the refrigerated shelves have stopped running. It's looking like we'll have to close up the produce section early today. Wait, what? But my pay! Anyway, I need you here to help deal with this mess. I'm counting on you! Goodbye! Wait! What are you looking at me for? Uh, why did this have to happen? Hey, Yukiko! Can we just go home? Chie, do you know this story? A girl forgot her homework, so she snuck into school in the middle of the night, but she suddenly needed to use the bathroom. She ventured into the girls' room where all the lights were off. No one should have been there, but in the mirror... Hold it right there! What are you talking about?! Huh, it's a ghost story. I thought you liked them. Yeah, but why tell it now?! Someone's here! It touched me! It's, it's a ghost! Wait, was that you? Jeez! You suck! <sighs> Why don't you just have him escort you back home, Chie? Uh, are you making fun of me? Well, yeah, with how freaked out you are, can you blame me? Huh? dare you? What the hell? Ugh. Oh. Well, I... <sighs> no! Hmm. <sighs> no. No. It's so dark. I can barely read these. What does it say on this one? <laughs> what? Are you trying to scare me or something? Trust me, you'll pay for that. I've never felt so relieved that I can only provide backup. Why can't my persona do backup? You seem like you'd be fine with it now, Tokun. <sighs> Yes? Oh, pardon me. Were you asking me something? Were you lost in thought there? Yes, uh, well, I was thinking about optical illusions. Commonly known as pareidolia, it's the phenomenon where shadows look like faces and figures and... You're scared. No, I'm just saying that paranormal experiences can be negated by science. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's okay. There's no need to be scared. Stop that. <laughs> you all get along so well. Mm-hmm. That may be our greatest strength. I see. That sounds nice. Uh, uh... Oh, we should probably get going. Just standing around won't help. Oh, we're really going in? Ooh, we are, huh? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'll, I'll try to keep it together so I don't cause trouble. Oh, no. No, I can't. <laughs> Scream? What was that? How should I know? Did you hear 
that. Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um... Can I hold your hand? in my house. Uh, You're... Oh, uh, good... Good evening, sir. We... Uh, we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? W we're just friends. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? Uh, hello? Um, so there's really no one here? Huh? Was that a fox? Hey, say something. Enough of those screams. Well, I was ready to leave anyway. I've warmed myself up enough. Let's cool down with some ice cream. Hey, uh, does anyone feel like uh, they're being watched? Oh, stop it! That has to be your imagination! I found this. It'll cheer you up. Wh what is it? You know how there's a mirror by the landing at school? When you climb the stairs while looking at your reflection in it, they say you start hearing a voice. 
it goes nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What are you talking about? There's supposed to be twelve steps on the stairs, but when you count along with that voice, there's a thirteenth. When you step on that step, you must not look at the mirror by the landing no matter what. Because if you do, then reflect it in it, you'll see. <laughs> I can't hear you! I'm not listening! Oh? I thought a story about our school would be less scary than a hospital story. They're both scarier! And it's a hundred times worse when you tell them in a place like this! You're gonna make Ray John cry! Nothing. Huh? She actually seems okay. I hear nothing. 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 Dude, she's gone way off the deep end. Oh, I I'm sorry. I was just trying to console Chie. C console? Uh, I am totally fine. I can't have Yuki laugh at me. I will not be outdone when it comes to robotic speech patterns. Why would you even need to compete? And how are you losing? I mean, why aren't you consoling Rachan? It must be tough being so aghast all the time. If that's the You're case, pretty... would we be causing trouble walking around like this? I guess not. Is it really a ghost? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Uh... Hmm... I don't see anything particularly suspicious. Nothing here. I I'm not scared, you know. Ah! What was that? An animal? I told you not to say that! If you say stuff like that, it'll really come true! Uh, come on, let's get out. It's getting hot. I said it's getting hot! This is starting to get pretty good! How are you in scary stories? Oh, so... You got any special stories of your own up your sleeve? I can't believe you guys! I'm having no part of this! I'm plugging my ears! Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? Shut up, Moranji! Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? You stop calling me that, damn it! Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts creepy. Let's see, it was over three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, all her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything, and soon, his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. But when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying 
was dead. They said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. That's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. That's not denying it. You're supporting it. Wait, did she die? I think she turned up okay. Well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? Well, you're next. What do you have in mind? You're gonna do this too, Senpai? You meanie. It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? Come on, this isn't a ghost story anymore, is it? It's just a story about someone being kidnapped. something. I heard something just now. That was unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. Anyway, keep going. You can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. Whoa, that's freaky. Something about a nose that long? Ah! Uh, uh, blackout? Oh shit! Something just went past me! Where's the switch? How dare you to think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone? I'm gonna curse you. Get him? Yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. Well, babes! What's come over you? Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And? And? What happened after that? Is this the lab? It's kind of eerie. Bad vibes here, guys. This place looks straight up haunted. <sighs> Queen, you all right? Uh, uh, yep, all oh, fine here. <laughs> you sure don't sound fine. Uh. <laughs> Screw you too, Ken. Huh? Uh -oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Where are you, sis? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so uh, sorry. Wait, I didn't know you two were. 